The final detection technique we have in this lab is the LCMS, where the electrical conductivity uses water to collect the permeated chemical, and the GCFID and GCMS typically use a flow of nitrogen. For using this technique, we use a solid collection media. The reason for this is that the technique is primarily utilised for non-volatile mixtures. Examples of these are two-phase epoxies, often used in the wind turbine industry, and pesticides used in agriculture. As they are non-volatile, they don't evaporate so can't be taken up by a flow of nitrogen, and they're typically not soluble in water. At set time intervals, the solid disc is removed from the cell and placed in a sample vial. A suitable solvent is added to the vial which then removes the permeated chemical from the disc by dissolving it. Some of this liquid is then added to a smaller vial and this is then analysed by the LCMS. The LCMS actually has two detectors, one using light and one using a similar mass spectrometer as the GCMS. Having two different techniques increases the amount of chemicals we are able to detect with this method. From how much has been collected on the disc and the time intervals between taking the samples, we can calculate the permeation rate. Although this solid phase collection disc technique was initially developed for use with the LCMS, we have since found it useful to use the same collection technique by injecting it into the GCMS instead. Which detection method we use for the solid phase collection method is determined from the physical properties of the chemicals and the associated method development. With a combination of all the techniques shown in the chemical lab, there is a huge range of chemicals that we are able to detect and test. As you can see from all of this, we are truly dedicated to understanding how our products protect you from hazardous substances.